Well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Uh, today, I want to go through a couple of things. I want to go through, I want to continue in Deuteronomy, but first what I want to do is I want to go through some of the, the levels of interpreting scripture, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm careful to not say the understanding because the true meaning of understanding is that you're walking in it, okay? And I know that's the word understanding is where a lot of people really think that this is. It's the levels of understanding. But if you're not walking in it, then you're not understanding. So, but it's, 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 the, it's the wisdom of the scripture. And if you look at the way that, you know, Yahusha, the way that he interpreted the scripture is from these, these deeper meanings or different levels of the, the Torah. And uh, so if you don't, if you don't understand or know the meaning of what, how Yahushua was coming about his answers, then you, you've really, you've lost really why he did what he did. And a good example is, and I've used this example a lot, is, you know, the woman that was caught in adultery. Well, you know, everybody wants to say that, uh, you know, that it's because of his grace and mercy. Well, that's true, but it's not the full truth. The full truth is, is if, if you don't know the Torah then and, and understand the Torah law, then you won't understand why he did what he did. So the reason that he did what he did was because the reason he turned her loose and didn't agree to have her stoned is because there were no witnesses. And in the Torah, to be convicted of a, uh, a punishable crime that was punishable by death, then you had to be there had to be the testimony of at least two or three witnesses. Now, so if, you know, if you just take it at, at face value there in the, in the New Testament where he did that, then, you know, you'll, you'll say that uh, uh, it's because of his grace and mercy. And again, that's not incorrect. It's just not the full truth. But what it does is it leaves you with the idea that it's okay to do anything you want and it's all forgiven. Well, see, that's what's actually taught. And when you sever the Jewish or the Hebrew roots, or you sever the law or the Torah from your New Testament teaching, that's what you get. You get this idea that it's okay to just go out and sin and do whatever you want to do because the blood of Jesus will cover it. Well, that's very incorrect. It's not, it's not true. So you you have to you can't sever the, the, the Torah, you can't sever the law from the, the New Testament teachings of Yahusha. And if you do, you're going to come up with something that's not, not correct. Okay. So anyway, now what I want to just kind of bring out is everything that Yahusha did, he did from these deeper levels of meaning of the scripture, okay? Now, some of these levels, the, the first level that I wanna talk about is called Peshat or Pasat. It's uh, Pe Shin Tet. And, and basically it's the, you, I'm, you don't need to, the, the Hebrew meaning of these words isn't important. I mean, it is if you really wanna learn the Hebrew, but it's not important in the, you know, in knowing what it's talking about but this first level is the the it's the direct meaning or the physical meaning in other words when you go through and you read the old testament it, it the the passat uh uh level is is what it says in other words if it says that you stone somebody then that's what you do now you know in a lot of cases where we are today uh we don't actually stone people we don't kill people for violating the torah uh, you know, so, but going back again, just looking at the facade level is you stone them. Now there's the, the other levels. One, the next one is Ramez and it's an allegorical meaning. Okay. So if you want to take the stoning, for instance, well, the stoning, the, the allegory would be you take the stoning and you, you look at it. Well, and what we do is we just don't have anything to do with them. Okay, and that is an allegorical kind of meaning of uh, that's the Ramez meaning of you stone someone. Okay, so the 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 second level there is is uh, the the allegory side of it. Another one, another 
allegory of it would be something like uh, if you look at Moses. Okay, Moses represents the Torah. And in, in a lot of the scripture, you see, even in the New Testament, you see where Moses is inserted to mean the Torah. And so, you know, uh, so anyway, so Moses and the Torah, that's an allegory, okay? The, another allegory, to just to kind of follow this out, this, this whole allegory thing. So Moses is the Torah, okay? The wilderness is the kingdom of the world. That's where we operate. We operate in the kingdom of the world. But, but once we cross the Jordan River, the Jordan represents the spiritual baptism. And the land of Canaan or Israel, where we actually are, is the, uh, uh, the kingdom of Yahuwah. Okay, so that whole, that, that story is a bunch of little allegories put together to make a story. And uh, it's, uh, it, it, the next level is called Darash. It's, uh, you can spell it any way in English that you want to spell it, but it's, it's Dalit Resh Shin. And so it's Darash. And so the Darash level is more of a it, similar occurrences or, or when you look at similar things in the scripture. So if you take the whole allegory meaning meanings of Moses wandering around in the wilderness, crossing the Jordan River, going into the to the promised land, if you take that whole thing and apply it to today, then that's going to be the Darash level. So in other words, you've got this Darash level that says that, uh, for us today to get into the promised land to the kingdom of Yahuwah, that we have to take the Torah, okay? We have to we have to obey the Torah. We have to be we have to come to the knowledge of Yahusha Joshua to be able to carry us into the promised land and cross the Jordan River in baptism, spiritual baptism to get into the promised land. So that whole thing is the Darash level. And then you have what's called the Sod level. It's S, it's uh, it's uh, Samic Va Dalit is, is Sod level. And so the Sod level is more of a mystery. So when Yahusha tells you, says, let me tell you a mystery that not all will die. That's, you know, or, or that, you know, he tells you a mystery. That mystery is, is something like a revelation. It's something that has a deeper spiritual meaning. And so those three levels, there's the direct meaning, which again is the facade. You have the allegorical meaning, which is remez. You have the, uh, uh, the similar occurrences, or are you putting those, those you, you, you build a story out of the allegorical messages, that's the Darash, and then the Sod. So the, the book of Revelation, for instance, would be completely, almost all of that would be at the Sod level, because you can't understand uh, the book of Revelation without a little bit of special intervention from the Ruach Kodesh. And so that mystery of the of the book of revelation is is you know it's it's all pretty much in the soul level now the reason i'm bringing all this up is today's lesson that we're going to be going through here in a little bit it's in deuteronomy is it's very difficult to to uh, or it was for me to put in how does it apply to us today well so the scripture everything in scripture applies to us now, you think, well, you know, the part about the war doesn't apply to us. Well, it does, because we're going to go through that today. You know, so everything in Scripture applies to us. You think that, well, some Scripture or some of the law only applies to priests. Well, who are the priests? Well, we are. It's not the Levitical priest. It's not somebody over in Israel. It's us. So when you look at it's what, what applies to priests, it's us. And so the thing that, that we need to get across is all of the Torah applies directly to all of us. And, and if, you don't, if you don't have a comprehension of these different levels of meaning, then it's going to be difficult for you to really put a lot of this together. And that's the whole purpose that I wanted to go through. This, this little video here is to try to put it together, and hopefully it'll help 
all of us understand a little bit more about how some of this stuff that we think doesn't apply to us does. And I know that uh, in, in my previous church going experience, I can tell you that I never was taught anything like what we're going through right now. And all I was ever taught was basically the facade or the, the, the direct meaning. And a lot of the direct meaning doesn't apply to us. In other words, we're not, we're not with Moses. We're not out there wandering around in, in, in the desert over in Egypt, you know, from a, from a, a physical standpoint. And uh, so a lot of the Torah doesn't, uh, doesn't directly apply to us. Well, directly, no, but indirectly or from a more spiritual meaning, yes, every bit of it applies. And so the, the modern day churches in a lot of cases have no idea that, uh, you know, that this stuff applies to us. And so they grossly misinterpret what the scripture is actually trying to tell us. So now what, what we're going through or what we're going to talk about is nothing that, that uh, is secret. It's all out in the open. And if you, if in, in, in what I'm saying, it's in the open, all you got to do is read the New Testament because the New Testament is the revelation of the Old Testament. So the stuff that we're going to go through today is in, is in Deuteronomy, which is in the Old Testament, but it's going to have the New Testament meaning or applications. And so uh, you'll see when we get into the study, you'll see what I'm talking about. But as far as the levels of meaning, we need to make sure that we have a good grasp of how those level of meanings apply to us today. And again, uh, I just uh, uh, wanted to bring this little video, and I'm fixing to end this video, and we'll be starting uh, the other one here in just a few minutes. And uh, so anyway, I just wanna, wanted to bring it, and hopefully it'll help us all have a little bit better understanding. So Shabbat Shalom, and we'll catch you on the next video.